Gustavo will be in five minutes. Gustavo will be here in five minutes. How many more? That's going to give us. That's going to give us six or something like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten things up because without a quorum we can't vote. So we're just going to have the general reports and uh, go on from there. Um, so, but thank you guys for coming. And the cap ten reports. <laughs> we're absolutely <laughs> glad that everybody attended. We're going to have the uh, the usual reports here, and um, we have. We need to start with. Oh, I guess I do have one thing that I. First of all, we cannot uh, 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 vote on the minutes, so we'll have to do that the next meeting. Yeah. Um, I do have an announcement that uh, James is stepping down, James Bygray is stepping down from the board. Ah. So he's between the two restaurants now, he's busy as he can be, so he's going to step on down. Um, we'll move along to our reports, but before we do, uh, Rick. Um, yes, sir. It's your last meeting. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Rick is retiring. <coughs> well, I'm semi-retiring. Semi -retiring. <laughs> and uh, going on to all the stuff that we dream about, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 idleness, you know, that, those things. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> playing some golf and fishing and doing whatever it is that you're going to do. But how long have you been here? 14 years. 14 years. Crystal said, I think coming to these meetings, 8 or 10 years or something like that, something. Okay. Yeah. You were you would have been here when we started. Well, no, you know, I, I think I wasn't. I think you guys actually started before I was at Crystal's. You're older than fourteen years, aren't we're you? We're about two thousand one. Yeah, and 2001, I started two thousand four. Yeah, that's a impressive haul, I must say. Well done. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Glad you're here. It's been a pleasure. I'm very glad you're here. Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's <laughs> You got your own sign. <laughs> <and hang it laughs> <up. laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> no, I got a place for them. You do? Okay. <laughs> well, we really you. appreciate it. You've been to every meeting. You haven't missed a one. I don't think you've missed a one. I won't say it if we find a one. But uh, we really appreciate everything you've done for helping this bid grow and help uh, keep the streets clean here nice. in uh, Highland Park. It's been a huge improvement. It's and been a huge improvement. We really appreciate your work. And, We'll keep working with your successors. Yes, and, and, and I'm going to make sure everything goes smoothly. I will, and I won't disappear completely. But thank you, thank you. Yeah, you guys. You're always welcome to the meetings. <laughs> it's going to be different without you. Just to the head. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to bring donuts. That's right. We should have done that. Um, so, how are things going on the street? You know, everything's fine. You know, the big thing that came up um, last uh, week, uh, last meeting was, uh, uh, I don't remember if it was Richard or somebody brought up. Maybe it was. Uh, uh, maybe with Gustavo, the parking lot on the other side, behind T-Mobile on 57th, you know, the one that on one side is where the farmer's market is, that's, there's definitely some people that are camping on and off up there, and we do go out and clean it, but it, you know, it's one of those situations where after you clean it, even if people are not there, they come back and they make it dirty again, but right now it looks okay, but Alex, uh, when, when it was brought up by Richard, whoever brought up last meeting, I wasn't sure I knew what the story was, but I've checked with Alex, he says he's definitely hitting it as frequently, maybe it was you, Jesse, I don't remember, but anyway, he, he he's trying to hit it as much as he can, and I just drove through and it doesn't look bad, although there are some people that are stationed there, and that's always going to happen, you know, and, and that's, of course, you know, another issue of whether they should or shouldn't be there, but mm -hmm. but um, but it's better. Other than that, um, I know Alex is um, checking to see if there's any more um, sidewalk, you know, graffiti to call in, because we had, we had stopped a little bit while they were doing the mosaics, and other than that, he tells me everything is under control, and um, and I believe him. <laughs> and uh, but if you guys have anything you're seeing that doesn't look like it's being fully picked up or clean, I, I, I want to know, and I will let it let it get back to them and, and make sure they get it. Well, I just want to emphasize something about Alex. Uh, he been doing a hell of a job on it, on the streets, cleaning the streets. Uh, I was the one that. I, mentioned to him to clean up in the back with yeah okay uh people stationed over there and on the parking lot and i'll be 57 and, and he didn't really do that do diligence clean him up and stuff like that i want to thank him because he's the only one he's really working you know, he's the only one he's on and it's emphasized again he's the only one working besides another 
uh, a little short black guy. But the rest is, you know, they kick him back and nothing was supposed to, but, but still, you know, Alex is doing a hell of a job. He's a hard worker. He is. He really is. Good. And he cares. Uh, not exactly your purview, but related. How's the trash pickup doing these days? Is anybody still having problems with that? Or do they get themselves settled down? I mean, we the whole yeah. yeah. I mean, is that a new service? Yes. Is it working any better than it was at the beginning? Well, usually on, on the big valleys, it's still a lot of trash. Yeah, on it, which right. are not really working. Yeah, especially by McDonald's. Yeah, there you know, there's a bunch of uh, trash there. We, that's the big balance is not working. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise, yeah. you know, people will put the trash like it used to be in an open container. But uh, you know, in some places we do find that. But and over oh, there, not even 50, and sometimes they're not even 54. And we have trash out. You mean like uh, sitting next to the big balance? Yes. Yeah. I'm at home. I wonder if we need to put our trash cans back out again. Yeah. Give people a place since they don't seem to like the big bellies. Well, they already like it, like the McDonald's ones, just filled to the brim. It's just pushing out. You know, what was the great story that one was in front of a post office and somebody thought it was a mailbox? A lot of mail in. We had to move it. We had to move it down. Well, again, thank you, Rick. We appreciate you all you've done. It's been a huge improvement. I have a question. I like to him to lose himself. I see you typing. Uh, Recording. Who are you? I'd like to know your name. And you're welcome to the meeting, but I would like to know your name, please. Is that a non response? A non response. That's a non response. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we keep on going. Anybody's allowed at these meetings. I have no problem with that. <laughs> um, I forgot to ask Bill if you had anything that you'd like to report today. Um. Yeah, I don't have anything specifically. <laughs> okay. But I, I do I, I do want to mention that uh, there's a couple of things coming up that uh, uh, we're planning. One is a, an overall design meeting for Highland Park. Okay. Probably like the first week of August, because it's right after the uh, summer recess of the city council. Uh, and the idea is to get all of the various stakeholders, including the bid, but also like the Arroyo Arts Collective, um, Highland Park Historic Trust, uh, our various uh, stakeholders in the neighborhood, and uh, kind of basing this off some stuff that CD14 has done. You know, their uh, Rock the Boulevard program and the program they have up in Colorado, where they were able to get $12 million uh, by getting a uh, grant writer that's going to be going into Colorado Boulevard and um, you know pull everybody together to find out how we want to move forward with the various uh, issues um, that we have here in Highland Park um, a lot of people have said that they've wanted to do something like that so we're gonna facilitate that and then I've been talking to people in the uh, Arroyo Seco Neighborhood Council and the Highland Park Neighborhood Council about doing a uh, kind of a comprehensive uh, look at the homelessness situation, which is probably the biggest situation we're facing, you know, in the city right now. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. You know, we have um, right now, uh, there's certain areas that we generally had homeless encampments that have moved. They're moving into Mount Washington and some of the private properties. Um, there's a whole set of issues there. Um, you know, how do we, you know, build homeless housing, which has been very difficult in this city for a variety of reasons. Um, you can see what's happening down in Koreatown right now. Um, and some of the stuff that's going on in Lincoln Heights. And, um, you know, you know, kind of come together because it's going to take, uh, it's going to take all of us to, to solve that situation. And, uh, you know, it's not just going to be one group and one 
viewpoint. It's such a nuanced uh, and difficult situation on so many levels. Um, you have everything from the uh, young people at Franklin that we gave free computers to, who a couple of them are homeless and got into UC schools, to, you know, problems with, you know, uh, people who are, you know, either mentally ill or have drug problems. And all of those things are very different and uh, are gonna take very different and nuanced solutions. And uh, it's gonna take all of us to uh, deal with that. So we wanna have a comprehensive thing. I've been talking with Jessica Craven um, up in Mount Washington. I don't know if you've met her, but she's wonderful. She does the local issues committee up there and um, you know we have some great some really good people on it Highland Park Neighborhood Council that so I think again that'll be another one where I'm going to want everybody involved the bid the arts communities the Monica over here at uh, Recycled Resources and uh, you know all the various stakeholders so uh, when I get those kind of put together. Oh, and one more thing, 29th, uh, we have the big meeting on, I, I, you know what, I'll run over and grab some flyers because we're having a meeting on filming on the 29th. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, we have filming today and I know that's a very big issue for all the people um, and the impact that that can have on the neighborhood. But uh, 29th, uh, Kevin James will be out here. He's the uh, head of Public Works and also the film liaison and members of Film LA. And uh, we're gonna have some location managers who are coming because uh, they'd like to continue filming in Highland Park, but it's getting very difficult um, as they don't have a run of the parking lots. Although I, I did give them 18 spaces today, so. Um, I think that's it. Does does anybody have any questions? Do you have any questions, Adrian? Uh, no problems that I can solve for you. I guess uh, when I comment on the film industry, mm -hmm. uh, I think so. There was a good idea. Now, when you're sitting all the way back against the wall, towards to the uh, uh -huh. west side, right? And parking definitely taking that uh, resident area to well, uh, Marmion Way and I mean, Fifty Sim. But in the meantime, there should be all parked on Marmion Way. Uh, Marmion way which you know it's not too much traffic uh, in front of the goal line i know they don't they don't like to walk or do the things uh, you know all yeah, the job but, know, I, but here on on the on between 56 56 and 57 you have all the uh, 18 wheelers and big trucks but i don't i don't mind if you they don't complain if you they're they're newcomers they're there if they're fine this up to them but you know the rest of the businesses they have any concerns about the, because there are muck and puff businesses on the boulevard and so. I'm, I'm i'm always i'm always worried about that um oh uh, one more thing you know we have burial planners who's uh been helping a lot of the local businesses we've been trying to find placement for some of the ones who um uh, have a couple of properties have changed situations and uh uh, but just to let you know um, that one stretch with the typewriter, pretty much everybody's staying there. They've all been able to negotiate um, uh, decent things and they're going to do some upkeep. Uh, but uh, the, watch, but, the but, watchmaker. Yeah, but I just want to emphasize to you that you, you, you really talk to the councilman to work on it and something relate to the small business, you know, the rent control on businesses. Because it's kind of difficult, I know it's commercial, but you have yeah, to think to work on it. But well, we can talk about that later, but yeah, because you know what? One of the business, the older business here in, in the Norris area, this the typewriter. Mm -hmm. There's one of the older business that exists besides the uh, For Heroes Pizza. Mm -hmm. This is the two oldest business that exist still in Highland Park. And I think so we have to recognize and emphasize to keep some of them up in pub business you in know, the corridor. I, I've spent, because I've spent, that is the meet and greet of the community. You know what? I have spent a lot of time on those two buildings. Uh, we think we worked something out so the barber's going to stay. And uh, I am very concerned about Juan Elmer's. Uh, I can 
get into that later about what's going on. Yeah, there. because if it eventually, you know, from twelve hundred, it went up five thousand, over five thousand dollars, so tri triple. The rent yeah, but that's the not. The, that wasn't the final rent. Yeah, well, that wasn't, this is, that wasn't the. Final. I know, but the, you know, they didn't serve them with black and white paper. But they, there was a conversation. It's either you you pay or leave. That's, I, I, Jesse, I, I, I like you. Uh, we could we could talk about that. that. that yeah. We could talk about that later. But I, yeah. I have been working with all those businesses and putting them together with barrio planners to work on that issue. We pay them to do that. So yeah. we're very very concerned about that, and we've been working tirelessly on that issue. Yeah. But I can talk to you about it later. Yeah, please go. And work that with the council people that then unfortunately has no yeah. authority on that sort of issue. <laughs> so we're here to talk about security and trash. Or trash. <laughs> no, but eventually, you know, all, all businesses concerned to business property, which is related. Business property to lose other or whatever, you know, but, since it's going to increase. We have no say over different. individual landlords. Yeah, definitely not, but that's they have between to be them and the tenants. something to hold on into yeah. the businesses. And we've been spending a lot of time on that issue, Jesse. <laughs> okay. And I'm more than happy to talk to you about it afterward. Okay. All right, Sean. How are we doing on security? Morning, everyone. Okay, so we had, uh, for April, we had 20 calls for service. Okay. Uh, 153 uh, client contacts, 281 public contacts. Um, it shows here there were zero graffiti reported. I think there were actually two uh, graffiti reported, uh, but they did it in a different way. They didn't populate here, different type of report. Um, and also, I think Crystal's is doing such a good job that you know, <laughs> right, you know, that uh, you know they're, they're hitting it before we can see it. Um, our vehicle patrol we're still about sixty forty, um, but we are getting the business cards out. Uh, we ordered about five hundred. Um, for the bid and the, the uh, officers have been passing those out as they make their contacts. Um, other than that, uh, been, I've been kind of driving around the last couple weeks checking in with various folks. Um, any issues to report to me? Any problems that I need to address? Yes, sir. I have a comment. You know, even though the, the, the uh, patrol officer is doing a hell of a job, but besides in the evening, there's some issues that because Several months ago, I didn't mention, but they sold my flag. This attack is on my front of the building mm -hmm. and disappear. I have to buy another one. But yeah. over the weekend, uh, over the uh, night, I believe, because I was there early Sunday, and they took my base for the flag. So, you know, probably the patrol has to do a little bit. Do, do a little more like an extra yes. patrol. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Because I just want to comment too that tell them not to test it. Oh, be on the phone when he's driving because that's how he flies. Yeah, we we tell them that um, that that's an issue. We actually have a, a Bluetooth device that we're that we're supposed to put in the up on the visor, um, so that when they get calls, they don't have to look down the phone. Right. So I'll look I'll look into that. It, driving is the most dangerous thing yeah. pretty, that that they do because <laughs> um, they're driving. We're, we're talking, Right. And we, we know we need to get a post in here somewhere. Um, and you know, with the with the you know, you can just spend any time on the row and see how people drive and down yeah. some accidents and whatnot, and a lot of distractions, crosswalks, things like that. So we have to make sure that our officers aren't part of that problem. So thank you for bringing my attention. It's very very important. Uh, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but since you were doing yours. Um, LAPD hasn't got me the flyer yet, but we are having copy with a cop at St. Ignatius oh, okay. um, next month. I, I'll, I'll, if you, if I think it's like the sixth or seventh, and Captain Sandoval will be there, and Mark Allen will be okay, there, and they're providing food, and it'll be at St. Ignatius. And I know there's some issues that people want to talk to the captain about, so um, I'll make sure Misty has that info. Good, that's a good opportunity. Uh, Sean, are there any, are you guys reporting any particular uh, hot spots, any areas that maybe we can talk to the landlords about getting better lighting or mm -hmm. looking, anything you're seeing that we can help out with? Not at this time. Um, the, uh, what most of the surveys would be done by me. Mm -hmm. um, I go out and I look and see what's going on. And to be quite honest, nine times out of ten, they don't take up my advice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they they like, well, that's a great idea, but then they don't do it, you know. Um, you know, like I, I advised uh, uh, the gentleman at the hardware store um, that uh, he keeps his merchandise too close to the window. 
that's why he had a window smash. Uh, a lot of the stuff is stuff that could be sold real easily, um, and they can punch right through the security uh, enclosure, the gate. Um, so I said, if you just move that stuff a little back, you know, it might not be such a good target for folks. But he never did it, and his window may still be in a smash state from many, many moons ago. Because uh, every time I've gone over there, it was, it was smashed. Um, other than that, um, you know, what I would what I would stress is the graffiti. Um, we need to clean that up. And broken windows, we need to clean that up. Um, things that are damaged, we need to repair those because it it attracts you know uh, issues. Sure. Uh, a broken window series. So and I know it, it costs money and it's um, it's it's a maintenance issue, um, but that's why we report it. And I go out and I talk to these folks. Hey, you gotta you know move that stuff back, repair your window. You know, I even gave him a copy of our report because uh, he wanted it for his insurance, um, which I have no problem in doing if it expedites getting those repairs done. Um, we want to make sure that the that the the storefronts especially are repaired. Um, I did meet with uh, some folks. At the Union, I think it's Pacific Union Realty. Uh, they had an issue with uh, one of their workers um, being accosted in the parking lot as she left for work. Mm -hmm. And I left them my information and call, you know, here's the numbers to call if you need any of your employees to be just not escorted, but just have our security patrol standing by, um, just keeping an eye out uh, while their employees walk to the vehicle. I don't think they call, but that service is there if they need it. Um, and I asked, you know, I told them I could provide, meet with them and discuss any issues that they have and they haven't contacted me yet, but the offer is there. And I extend that to anyone um, in the bid. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. Okay. Yeah, just let us know if there's any particular areas that are too dark at night or something like that that maybe we can talk to the owners or figure out some way to, Absolutely. if people are accumulating or hanging out or in a place that maybe we could make it a little less appealing. Absolutely. We're happy to talk to them. We can't obviously do it. But we're right. happy to talk to people that we know, neighbors. Okay. You know. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, we're going, because we do not have a quorum, we're going to need to move item G, the uh, bid renewal uh, committee, uh, to the June meeting. And we are going to have to move the employee contract renewal to the June meeting. Um, I told you about the board of director issue. And um, if there's any, is there any additional business anybody would like to bring up? Well, um, Christmas decorations, is it too soon to figure out what we're going to do? It's never too soon to figure out what we're going to do with those darn Christmas decorations. Uh, it's time to put them on, bring a trailer or something like that, and yeah. see if we can mm -hmm. the next sort those out. Put it on the June meeting, we can talk about that. And. Um, over and take a look at them again. Okay. Now, if you want the Christmas decoration, you need to put a light. If you don't light, don't they're not a big point. No, yeah. there is no point to put it. Yeah. Have to have light. That when they see Yeah, they're the very price. expensive to fix. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, she mentioned that in the other day. A royal arts club. Actually, um, Maria, she might have somebody to help us with the lights. Could you see if somebody wants to come on the June meeting? Okay, Oscar. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Be? Here we go. We have that. That's an example. Gotta do something. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Use them. Right. Right. To put them, <laughs> Use know, them. Take those lights off and put LEDs on. Yeah. Anything that they, if you put in the city, like, the city look nice because that's what they're going, isn't it? Yeah. The beach, like Pasadena, like Glendale, and Highland Park. That's that's the point. Isn't it? Okay. Yeah. See if we have somebody in the gym meeting to talk to us okay. and give us some ideas of what it would cost, what it would take, and we still have to look into what it cost to hang them, <coughs> and uh, you know, there's a time when we could do that stuff, it's gotten expensive. So they may not be appropriate anymore. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Okay, at this point, does anybody want to move to adjourn? Uh, I'll move to adjourn. Yeah. I would just like to, to, to throw something out for, for Mr. Adrian here, because I've read some of his pieces, and uh, you know, I, I hope you noticed that out of the even though we didn't have a quorum today out of the seven members who were here, five of them were people of color and uh, the executive director is a person of color. So um, I don't know if that affects your theories on things, Adrian, but I thought I'd mention that just so you could maybe put that in instead of 
shifting over disingenuously to a, uh, a stat about the overall bids in Los Angeles. Um, because it's, it would be nice to have a professor who um, actually dealt in facts. So. That's interesting. Since I'm half Hispanic and half Arab, what color would I be? <laughs> well, you're just Older. a person of color. Older. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does that mean? I can choose the color. What color I have? Yeah, just just saying. Just say it. Okay. Well, All right. I, I already have the color. <laughs> 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 this is my color rating. By the way, you still owe me. This is my color rating. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for coming. Did we have an official? It's you move to adjourn. Any second? Second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.